The construction of 24 wind turbines over a 12-month period dramatically changed the day-to-day -day life on the otherwise quiet operation of South Australian farmers Judy and Martin Wilkinson. With up to 60 workers and four heavy vehicles entering the property on a daily basis, they knew they needed a serious rethink of their farm biosecurity practices. I think biosecurity has always been on our agenda as a farming business, um, but about four years ago, the owners of the property were approached about in the construction of windmills for you know power, and um, so that heightened our awareness. We recognised that the that there were going to be lots of people coming on and off the property, and also interfering or working alongside of us in our farming operation. Putting in place clear processes for communication played a big part in how they managed this challenge successfully. Right at the beginning we decided it was important that they understood what we were, how we operate, what we were doing, and that we understood them. So right at the beginning we set up um, a practice that they came to the farm office on Monday mornings once a fortnight, um, only for a short time, like a half an hour or and an hour and discussed what we were doing, what we were expecting out of the next fortnight and how that would interfere with what they were doing and what they were doing for the next fortnight and how we could perhaps stay clear of them or not interfere with their process. With so many people and vehicles entering and exiting daily, a key focus was securing the property boundaries through the use of clear signage. To these constructors, a fence was a fence and a gate post was a gate post. And we had to find some sort of way of indicating that whether the gate had to be open or shut. And um, so we set up little fla a little flag signage system that if the red flag was up, it must remain closed at all times. If the white flag was up, it could be left open or it could be found open and left open. Emma Rook from the Livestock Biosecurity Network says farm visitors pose a number of biosecurity risks to cattle and sheep operations. Some of the biosecurity risks that are associated with um, movement of contractors on and off the property um, include uh, movement of weeds, disease um, on vehicles and equipment and clothing and boots those people might be bringing onto the place. Some contractors may not understand uh, the concepts of biosecurity so they might not understand the importance of things like uh, closing gates uh, or uh, um, limiting contact with your livestock. She says that having a written biosecurity plan can help with the communication process. It's helpful having your expectations in a written plan uh, and primarily that aids you in communicating uh, with um, contractors but also other people uh, on your, coming onto your place. Guidelines and templates for developing an on-farm biosecurity plan are available on the LBN website at www.lbn.org.au.